NBC 10 breaking news. That breaking news, a wild hour long police chase through northeast Philadelphia. Sky Force 10 was the first on the scene. The suspect stole an ambulance to escape officers and barreled through a gas station, slammed into police cruisers and crashed into other drivers on the road. You're watching NBC 10 News at 11 p.m. I'm Erin Coleman and it has been a busy night. The chase began around 9 o'clock this evening and only ended about 20 minutes ago. NBC 10 is covering all angles of this chase tonight. We start with reporter Matt DeLucia live at Walnut Lane and Talbot Street in Northeast where the suspect was arrested, Matt. And as you mentioned, Erin, this happened just about 20 minutes ago that that suspect was caught here in that ambulance. Let me step out of the way. You can see that ambulance right here. So it crashed at Walnut Hill and Tolbit uh, Street here in the Northeast. Uh, this is right near Welsh Road. You can see a lot of police here. They are still putting up the police tape as we speak. So again, this all just happened a few minutes ago. This chase had lasted for about an hour, a little over an hour actually. And so we have some video for you to show you what happened. Uh, after that ambulance was stolen, uh, it was, it, we also saw him leaving a gas station, crashing into a car, and then driving off. We saw several crashes involving this ambulance here. Uh, at one point, police uh, had to back off as the chase was going on, and police were just tracking that ambulance from a helicopter in the sky uh, to try to keep everyone safe on the ground there. And so we also saw that uh, ambulance crash into cop cars. Uh, all Officers opening the door trying to get that suspect, but the suspect repeatedly would close the door and just continue driving. We also saw the uh, driver park in parking lots, gas stations, uh, seemingly stopping and then would just continue on. At one point, we also saw uh, them lay down some spike strips. All the tires of that ambulance uh, popped and eventually it came to a rest right here uh, in the Northeast. We also have some video from Sky Force 10. Uh, where we were chasing this whole thing the entire way. And then we also saw uh, police rushing to this ambulance here just a few minutes ago. So this was the end of the chase, uh, pulling the driver out of the ambulance, taking him to the ground and arresting him, arresting him here at Tolba Street. Uh, and then putting him into handcuffs. He did not have a shirt on at the time. Uh, he also appeared to be bleeding. So, uh, scene that is still unfolding at this hour. So we'll give you another live look once again here. Again, this is Tolba Street and Walnut Hill right near Welsh. And you can see that ambulance uh, jumped up onto the sidewalk there and crashed near some homes, damaging several vehicles along this chase throughout Northeast Philadelphia, going through Roosevelt Boulevard, Harbison. Uh, we saw this ambulance going through side streets and right here through these neighborhoods. So again, the investigation underway, but that suspect has been taken into custody here in Northeast Philadelphia just minutes ago. We're going to stay out here, try to get some more information from police. But for now, I'm live in the Northeast. I'm Matt Delusia, NBC 10 News. Some tense moments all around as this thing played out. All right, that suspect eluded officers for nearly two hours, even smashing at one point. You see it right there into a police car in a parking lot. NBC 10's Aaron Baskerville joins us live from that scene. All right, Aaron, what's happening where you are right now? Aaron, right now, police are standing guard. They are standing by a police cruiser that's all smashed up. We're in the parking lot of a Burger King near Frankfurt and Benner, and you can see over there the front end of that police car all banged up after that ambulance went flying through here with a whole bunch of officers on foot, a whole bunch of cars surrounding that ambulance at the time. I'm told, thankfully, all officers are okay. We have some video of the scene that happened here about, you know, 40 minutes ago or so. Let me describe it to you. That ambulance was parked here in the Burger King parking lot. He stopped for a little while, then all of a sudden, for some reason, he opened the door, and then he put his hands out of the door like he was giving up but he was just faking. He then started to drive away as a bunch of officers rushed to that ambulance. He then drove over, smashed into a police cruiser over here. He stopped once again, and then police rushed over to the ambulance. They opened the door, and it appears that he was tased maybe once or twice, but somehow that guy in the ambulance kept on driving. So a wild scene here near Frankfurt and Benner in the parking lot of this Burger King. And we can come back out here live right now. They're 
This is still taped off. I know a bunch of the employees inside the Burger King were not allowed out as they continue to investigate this scene, but you can see that car over there all smashed up. Once again, thankfully, I'm told from the officers on scene that nobody here was seriously hurt. Back to you, Aaron. And that is certainly the good news in all of this. Aaron Baskin reporting live tonight. Aaron, thank you.